Hello all, welcome back to Terraria with Joe Gabe. I think this is 43. Uh, last time, went into the dungeon to explore after I defeated Skeletron two episodes ago. And got quite a ways in, but in, the, in an effort to keep my ADD patients from tearing their eyes out, I cut it off. I'm trying to cut the videos off a little earlier than the earlier ones. They were like 20 minutes or so. I'm trying to keep them down to... 12 to 15. But that's besides the point. Um, as soon as I went to go finish recording, I got attacked by cursed skulls and died. So uh, I want you guys to let me know do you want to see more of the dungeon? What we saw is basically that, and then it repeats itself. Um, the only different thing we'll see is the loot that I get. Uh, I can just... I'll go off camera and explore, and if I get anything good, I'll make mention of it. But let me know. If you guys want to see more of the dungeon, I will go and make another episode there. I'll go to where I left off. There's a little stone thing that I was hiding in. <laughs> and I'll pick up there. Or... Do you just not care? And we'll move on. So let me know in the comments, please. But as if you haven't guessed already, I'm making my way down to the underworld. And we'll make this the underworld episode I was talking about. If I don't fall into lava. It's the one really big pain in the ass thing about getting down to the underworld. Actually, we're here, because you can see the ash. Um, you don't know what you're going to fall into. Great, great, great. Ah, fuck! Okay, what we see there is a demon, and what we have here is a lava imp. Not imp. Uh, lava slime. When you kill these things, in, these de in the houses, you're safe from the demons. Uh, what are they? Spells, I guess you can call them. And they can all go in lava, as you can see. Oh, okay, see, he got through there. But he, the spells can't go through rock. I've been down here, as you see, doing some mining. Uh, that's where I got most of my stuff. But the demons, they can go in the lava. They're... Their spells hit hard. The bats, they tend to like to swarm you a lot. They're really annoying. They're not too hard to kill. The slimes are really annoying. They've got like the most insane jump ability I've ever seen. And when you kill them, they drop lava. So you can't step on them. What we'll probably see coming soon will be, will be a bone serpent. Which are, you think the worms up on the surface are a pain in the ass? Well, what do you find these things? Ash also falls, so be trying to be kind of careful-ish. As we can see it falling now. Because I need to get some hellstone. The uh, Another main creature down here is your fire imp. And they are rather annoying. They're like the mages from the goblin army, the mages we just saw in the dungeon. Uh, their attacks go through everything. And they're not too hard to kill. I mean, when you get close to them, they teleport, so you've got to try to corner them as best you can. And to corner them, just try to charge them if they're up against a wall. And then, like I've been using the, the flamerang. Is really easy to kill them with. Falling ash. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ash and clay, as I've stated before, now fall like sand does. There we go. So be careful when you're mining under things like this, because it will fall. Fiery Greatsword for my explorations. Not, 
not so much with the uh, the meteor armor. I want the necros armor more. You know, and in saying that, I may do a short little clip of going back into the dungeon. But if you guys want more, please let me know, and I'll make it happen. Doing these videos because you guys like watching them. So if, whatever you want, if you want to see something, we do a tutorial on something. I'll do it to the best of my ability. Um, just let me know what you want. Okay, and then we're gonna play safe-ish here, and this is this is this could kind of be a tutorial on how you mine in Ash. So I've, I'm keeping this here because I'm going to go down here. It won't fall in on me, and cave me in. The ash is pointless as of now, I believe. I don't think they have any use for it. This is going extremely slow. Well, this pickaxe in itself is kind of slow. It's a little slower than your shadow, than the nightmare pickaxe I had, but it's more powerful. The Nightmare Pickaxe is 65% pickaxe power versus this at 100. And you can still hear that imp up there, they don't leave. I'm surprised we haven't seen a Bone Serpent yet, you know, knock on wood, but uh... They're not too bad, I'm gonna heal just in case something happens. Don't really need it, because <laughs> the uh... The Molten Pickaxe does give out light. Actually, this little lava you can see down here, that when I was mining last time, I killed a slime. Actually, in that spot. And the lava went down there. Uh, and here we have a fire imp. So until you can get to them, just kind of swing your pickaxe to deflect the attack. It's not going to move this time. Oh, and that failed. So you can just let it be. I mean, they drop a decent amount of money, or you can... It's kind of like the same... Ow. It's kind of like the same concept, almost, of the uh, meteor heads. I might... I'll probably go try to kill it in a second. But when you don't really have anything to fight with, any high-hitting weapons, and you're down here... Like, I was down here one time just exploring. These are a royal pain in the ass. But once you get it cornered like that, it can't teleport, and... It dies. <laughs> Go take the money. Not really worth it, the money, but, uh... It all adds up. So for right here, I'm keeping this layer... down until I can get to the end. And then when I get to the... Well, I'm going to want to keep some of it because of that lava there. And also, in the Underworld, um, I don't know if this was in the 1.5 update, but there are Hellfire arrows in the vases, the vases, whatever you want to call them. Um, and they do 10 damage. I've yet to use them yet, but I have like 30 of them just from wandering around looking for a good spot to mine the Hellstone. Okay, so like right here, I'm just going to leave them, but starting here, you mine your way back, so when the ash falls, it doesn't fall on you. There we go. Oh, shit. You can also do this, <laughs> corner and attack the hell out of it with your pickaxe, if you've got nothing else. Oh my god, that is awesome. This is a very rare drop from these, and... Haha, -ha, it's mine. <laughs> the Bone Serpents also drop something. I don't remember what it is exactly. It's very rare. But, I mean, the Flower of Fire is... It's a pretty nice drop when you get it. It does damage like that. It's kind of like a super amazing bow. It's a bouncy ball. As we see, 33 damage, 7 mana, slow speed, but you saw how long that thing lasts. We're up to 126 health stone. I want to. I gotta get some more. That's 
pretty awesome though. Actually, we'll just keep going down. We'll play. I'll practice what I preach. Wow, that's that's awesome that I got that. Okay. The ash is useless. I'm just taking it because I hate when it piles up like that. It's really annoying on the screen. Actually, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a use yet. I don't know if you can use dynamite down here. Or, or you can probably use it. I don't know if it affects the hellstone. I haven't seen a bone serpent yet. <laughs> Actually, when I first saw that thing, I thought it was a jungle rose. Like, how the hell did this thing drop a jungle rose? Oh, there we go. Here comes a bone serpent. As you can see, it is a bone serpent. Oh my god. Um, like the other, the surface worms. As soon as one part of it is dead, the whole thing will die. Uh, they drop that one really rare drop. I can't remember what it is. Maybe it was a fire of flower or flower of fire, or whatever. But um, yeah, this flint ring does quite a bit on it. And I killed the head, so the whole thing died. But I mean, you can kill any segment in the uh, the whole serpent will die. It's not like the Eater of Worlds. I wish I could remember what they drop. I don't remember. Offhand. Now if you really want to play it safe, you can mine out part like this, grab some stone, and make like a roof going over a few blocks, and then mine down like this. Let's see, there's a lava there now. Oops, didn't want to do that. But you get the idea. hitting you. No, you're not welcome here. And it just keeps doing damage until you clear it. And then to forge the Hellstone, you can only use a Hell Forge. Get a Hellforge, you need the uh, Meteor Hammax or higher. The Golden Hammer will not work. They are too powerful. So you can kind of see them up in the corner here. There's two Hellforges in the lava. Um, maybe after this, I'll go over and drain it just to show you. Remember, they're the same things I have up in my house. I'll just grab two of them. Come on. And also with Hellstone, um, you can't just use the Hellstone and get the Hellstone bars. You need to use Onyx. Or not Onyx, what the hell? Other black thing. Obsidian. And I will show, I, I did a brief demo on how to quote-unquote um, obsidian farm. It's really easy. Um, if you guys want like a whole thing dedicated on how to do that, I can show you. I just gotta set it up. But it's really easy. You just you need to basically channel water to go over lava. And, um, ow. See, it only hits nines, so I mean, if you're like low on health or something, you can do these safety things I was talking about. Oh, damn. 
See, that's when they're annoying. When they get to spots like that, and they can, because they can shoot through the walls. I'm gonna finish getting this bunch. I'll have 214. That should be enough to get me my fiery great sword. Meter armor, it's it's good, but like I want, the, I have the jungle armor and the shadow armor for now, and I just want to go straight up to the necros armor. Just heal some. I'll show you guys like the surface a little bit because it's just been mining, mining and info. What the? Oh, come on, stop falling. some of these. I'm at 250. I don't really need the bricks. Okay, so I will head back up to the surface of this. Take these along the way. No, I don't have room. Yes, I do. You can really get yourself in trouble with that because some, like that, like the whole corner fell. Really annoying. <laughs> I got another bone serpent coming. We'll try this. I've used this as I've never actually used this until I just. Oh, it's the same as the flame ring on it. So. I don't suggest standing right in the path of the damn thing like I do, but. You know, I'm not bright. Ah, die, die, die! There we go, see? I killed the tail that time, the whole thing went down. So hopefully we can get up here with minor interruptions. I don't really like the slimes. This is what I was talking about when the bats swarm. Oh, there's a hellforge right here. So you just go up to it, and smack it with your hammer. <laughs> it's easy. Oh, it's, oh, it's an imp. Uh, okay, watch. Here's how the slimes go. When you kill them, there's the lava. And then it turns into lava. And it's really annoying. Really, really annoying. Because I always seem to want to attack you when you're on slopes, like fighting off bats. It's horrible. Can I not get up? There we go. You can hear the imps. You can see the imps. Oh, there's one of the bigger chests. Maybe it'll have some hell arrows in it, or hellfire arrows. No coins. See, I'm just glad, I'm really glad actually that the, uh, the demon's magic can't go through. Oh, and here's the bat swarm I was talking about. Shit, shit, shit. swarms. And they're still coming. And knock me in the lava. So we will okay, where well we won't teleport out. Incinerated, indeed. Some of the demons, you'll notice they'll have voodoo, like little voodoo dolls hanging in their um, feet. If you can you kill the ones with the voodoo dolls, you might get the voodoo doll drop, in which case you can then kill the guide with. 
But I don't suggest... Oh, hey, Pinky. We'll use this on you. 30. <laughs> but, I mean... Mix the bars, and you can make bricks with this, and then I'll show you how to make the bars, and then I'm going to cut the episode out, because it's probably pretty long as it is. Yeah, this is... Well, this is more of a tutorial episode, anyways, so... It's a little longer, I apologize. But hopefully you know everything you need to know about the underworld now. So, we go... I gotta get rid of some stuff. <laughs> Where do we want to put this Hellforge? Right, right there. So, where's my obsidian? If you get the chance to just farm obsidian, I would. I highly suggest you do it. Because the more you have, the better. Because it takes a lot to make the things. So... Oops, my bad. But you go through and it takes two obsidian and six hellstone per bar. So we just make them. And I got 43 from that run. So that's enough to make the fiery great sword. Yay, yay, yay. Not enough to make one extra. There. Take you out. What the hell is that? Lesser restoration. Oh, those things. So we go down here, and voila! Fiery Grey Sword. Oh, I can make Molten Hammax, too. We'll save it. These bars are a pain to come by. Well, they're not really a pain. They just take some effort. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And, again, I hope you learn about the underworld. I mean, I gave you my take on how I can... how I handle it to get the uh, ore, give you some info on the monsters. Um, remember, follow me on Twitter. Get for some... for updates on videos and stuff. Uh, check out mine and Will's new channel, The Cooperative Gamers, where we're doing hosting our co-op on that. And uh, also check out Will and his brother. Their channel is down in the description. Um, pretty good stuff. Give them a subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.